Hi hey everyone, in this video we are going to learn about symmetry and skewness of data. Here we have three types of skewness. The first one, if we have median is equals to mod is equals to mean and then the distribution we call it symmetrical. The best measurement for the data will be mean. Second, if we have mod is less than median, less than mean, the distribution is positively skewed or skewed to the right. The best measurement we are going to use is median. The third one, if we have mean, is less than median, less than mod, the distribution is negatively skewed or skewed to the left. Best measurement is median. We look at example, if a set of data has mean 66, median 69, and mode 71. So median is always at the middle. So here we have 69. Median, mean. 66 will be here, 66 and mod 71. We know that mod is the highest frequency. So the peak of the shape will be at 71. So our shape will be like this. So the data is skewed to the left. Distribution is cute to the left. To the left. Or you can say the distribution is negatively skewed. For the measure of this question, we have two coefficients. The first one, we have coefficient of skewness, piercing coefficient. The second one, we have coefficient of variation. So these two, we are going to interpret the data based on the value from the coefficient result. Piercing coefficient. We have two formula here. Either we use mean, median, and standard deviation, or we use mean, mode, and standard deviation. The interpretation of Pearson coefficient of skewness will be if the value is from negative 0 0.5 until 0 0.5. The interpretation is almost symmetrical. If the value is from 0 0.5 until 1, the interpretation will be moderately skewed to the right. If the value from negative 1 until negative 0 0.5, the interpretation will be moderately skewed to the left. For a normal distributed data, mean is the good measurement to represent the data set. For skewed data, median is the good measure to represent the data. We look at example 1. Let's say we have a data. We are given mean is 34.1, median, mode, variance, and standard deviation. The question asks, Find Pearson coefficient and interpret your answer. B. State the reason where the mean or median is a better measure of proportion. So now, we are going to use either one. SK, Pearson coefficient of skewness. The first formula is 3 mean 
minus median divided by standard deviation. We are going to substitute 3. Mean will be 34.1 minus 30.75 divided by 15.94. So we are going to get 0 0.6305 or we can use another formula which is mean minus mode divided by standard deviation we substitute mean 34.1 Minus 23.5 divided by 15.94. So the answer will be 0 0.6650. You can choose either one of the solution. And then we are going to interpret our data. The interpretation of the data is... The distribution is, look at the value here, 0 0.6. So look at here, 0 0.6 positive will be moderately skewed to the right. It's moderately skewed to the right. This is our answer for question A. Question B state with reason where the mean or median. Since our data is skewed to the right, so the best measurement will be median. Because the data is skewed to the right. Example 2. We have a new data given mean, median, and standard deviation. Still, we are going to find the coefficient of skewness. Pearson coefficient of skewness, SK. Since the data given mean and median only, so we are going to use the first formula. 3, mean minus median, divided by Standard deviation. Substitute 10.72 minus 10.81 divided by 3.8121. So we will get negative 0 0.07. So our interpretation will be The distribution is get here negative zero point zero seven will be at the yellow region. So almost symmetrical. So our answer will be almost symmetrical. For question B, we are going to choose mean or median. So we are going to choose mean because the data is almost symmetric.
Next, coefficient of variation. The formula is standard deviation divided by mean multiplied by 100%. The smaller the value of CB means the data is less dispersed and more consistent. We look at one example. Given that the average score of math test is 67.45 with the standard deviation of 8.6136 and the average score of physics test is 69.25 with the standard deviation 9.8175 Determine which score is more stable. So we are going to use the coefficient of variation. First, we find the CV for math. CV, the formula is standard deviation divided by mean. Standard deviation divided by mean will be 8.6136 divided by mean 67.45 multiply by 100% and then we get 12.77% for math. Next, we calculate for physics. Physics, we have the standard deviation 9.8175 divided by its mean 69.25 multiply by 100% and then we get 14.18% so we are going to compare here we have math is less than physics so our interpretation will be math score is more stable it is less dispersed compared to physics score okay that's all thank you Bye-bye.